30, US-based experts in artificial intelligence, OpenAI, release ChatGPT. It's their version of a chatbot, a computer program designed to stimulate chat with human users. I'm designed to respond to questions and provide information on a wide range of topics. ChatGPT looks like this. Pretty much a bog-standard website, but what it can do is mind-bendingly cool. I can try to do cool things. What do you have in mind? ChatGPT has been trained on hundreds of terabytes of text sourced from the web. A colossal amount of data that it uses to form coherent, human-like responses within seconds. Ingesting huge portions of the internet, calculating patterns so they can generate text. You can ask it to provide historical facts, write a work email, explain the plot of a TV show, debug computer code, pen a poem, compose a breakup text, dispute a parking fine, or generate a powerful country and western song about me and my fellow cowpoke over here. What's a cowpoke? Shut up and listen to the song. All right. Sam and Ali were two cowboys run through the wild west. They worked the land and tended to the cattle with no time for rest. They were the best of friends and together they would roam. But sometimes they'd cause trouble in the town that they go home. Sam and Ali, two cowboys on the run. Riding through the mountains underneath the setting sun. They lived their lives on the open range, they're wild and young and free. Sam and Ali were two cowboys, you agree. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, while some may consider the ballad of Sam and Waleed to be the peak of Chat GPT's abilities, some foresee more nefarious outcomes. Last Sunday, New York City school officials blocked access to the chatbot on all school devices, mainly because the thing can punch out a thousand word essay in just a few minutes. I'm designed to assist with tasks such as writing essays with a high degree of accuracy and speed. I'm not opposed to students using technology where it makes sense. This is, it needs to be adopted fairly and responsibly. Even teachers are still wrapping their heads around how they should handle this. Although Australian educators stress their watchful of the tech, some even reverting back to pen and paper exams, people like Princeton computer science and journalism student Edward Tian reckon they can spot a fake. Yeah, so I built GPT Zero. It's an app that detects whether ChatGPT wrote an essay or whether an essay is human written. I just actually coded this over my holiday break from school. I was completely blown away by the amount of excitement it generated. The reaction that I've gotten with teachers is that like, wow, yeah, it works. Sometimes it confirms uh, suspicions. Now the next step is to build this into a product that teachers can actually use. Sorry, Brent Rambo and fellow kids. Looks like you're going to have to actually do some homework in 2023. That is until the supercharged new version of ChatGPT version 4 comes out later this year, reportedly with the processing potential to write an entire country album. We'll hitch our wagon to that. That's funny. <laughs> AI is the future. I'm not opposed to it at all. But we should be able to have the right technologies to know and understand when students are using ChatGPT so that we're not entering this AI future blindly. But I don't want anybody to make any definitive decisions based on GPT Zero yet. It's very much in beta. You know, I built this over a few days at my local coffee shop. <laughs> that how come i wasn't invited oh we did we did it back in the 1880s <laughs> <laughs> actually big shout out to uh Fahreen who did the graphics behind us oh, what an effort that must have taken I mean, a decade far too long for oh, the subject matter if incredible. you ask me this is scary this i feel like this is how terminator started you know when yeah. the machines yeah. started rising up and you know. this will overtake google people a lot smarter than me are saying this is the next google because it answers things so specifically in a human way oh. um and can tell you how to do just about anything totally well this is the thing it's i'm worried it's going to take certain jobs, my job specifically. I'm a comedian. So I got on today, I, I put in write a joke for me. So I've written a joke and I got the AI bot to write a joke. Oh. I want you guys to see if you can tell the difference. Okay, okay. I'm going to tell two jokes. Okay. This is the first one, okay? Why did chat GPT go to the bar? To get a bite. Oh. oh. That's in B-Y-T-E. That's cute. Yeah, okay. That's good. All right, yeah. this is joke number two. Why doesn't chat GPT like spiders... It's scared of the dark web. Ah. You know what's funny is they both sound like they were written by Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional comedian, so guys. We, so we have to guess. Guess which one you think was which. I think number two. I think it's a little bit more subversive. Yeah. As in the second was... I reckon that was Sam's. Yeah. I, I actually You agree. guys nailed it. I wrote the second one. Well done. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you guys are so good. Did, did you go through all the chat GBT ones to pick the worst ones so you'd look as good as possible? <laughs> <laughs> is that what happened there? No, no, that's just what it's about. That's no. what it's about. There you go. More work to do. Exactly. Yeah. 